are going to do a um, double rebozo shoulder to shoulder back carry today and I'm going to hopefully give you some tips to help you to um, figure it out a little bit more. I don't know why, it's a really simple overall carry once you figure it out, but for some reason it really eludes me and I'm quite a bit of other people as well. So hopefully some of the, the tips and breakdowns that I give will help you to figure it out. So the first time that I'm going to do it, I'm actually going to do the carry without a baby in the wrap and then I'm going to grab one of mine and um, do it with the child actually in the wrap. But hopefully going through it the first time without can help you to visualize and get the steps down a little bit better. So it's going to start a lot like a double hammock where you're going to find the middle marker and I like to just put the middle marker up on my chest and go out. Um, almost an arm's length, not quite a full arm's length out, which is going to be your new metal marker. And the only difference is with a double hammock, the long tail will pass across your chest and go around and the short tail is went over your shoulder. So with a double reverse shoulder to shoulder, you're actually going to do the opposite of that where the long tail is going to make the rebozo pass and come across your shoulder and across your body. Um, and then you're gonna bring it across to the other shoulder, whereas the short tail is gonna come over and around, and that tail is gonna be just your, pass, your chest pass. So the short tail is not going to move pretty much once you have it underneath your arm in that rebozo pass. So as I said, I've gone a little bit of about a half, um, about an arm's length almost out, and I'm gonna use that as my new middle marker. And I'm just gonna pretend that a baby is in this, at this point, and I'm gonna put that piece on my back where my baby would be. And this is going to be my short tail. So my short tail, as I said, is going to go underneath my arm. I'm just gonna tuck it under my leg for a minute to keep it in place. And then my long tail, I'm gonna bring and gather up across my shoulder. So the short tail here, when you do some strand by strand tightening, is only going to act as your chest belt. So pretty much from here, this piece is never going, it's not going to move until the very last pass at the end. So short tail after your rebozo pass is going to just stay put underneath your arm to make that chest pass. Your long tail is the one that's going to do most of the moving around. So take your long tail and you're going to cross it under. Sorry, I had it wrong for a second. So you're going to take your long tail and you're going to cross it under your chest pass. So to help you sort of visualize, first I'm going to gather my rails up so you can see the coloring. So short tail is only going to be act as my chest pass. So I'm going to go ahead and pass it across my chest just to make it a little bit easier to visualize. And you can reach around behind and tuck it behind your legs that way so that way it keeps that chest pass in place the entire time. Or you can just kind of pin it down with your arm. And then we're just going to work on this piece, the long piece. So the long piece is going to cross and make pretty much like a loop across your body. So it's already gone across one shoulder through that rebozo pass. And from here, we're going to push it sort of over to the other shoulder. And after we did some strand by strand tightening, which obviously I would need to do because I have slack even without a baby hair, you are then going to take that rail and flip it up over your shoulder and try to keep that anchor point if you can a little bit farther over to that other opposite side. So once you have that done, this long tail is going to make your second rebozo pass. So it's going to then go across the baby's back and you're going to drop it underneath your arm. So you can see if there was a baby there, we would have those two rebozo passes holding baby in. And from there, you would just sort of tighten out, follow your slack, strand by strand, sort of work it all out, which I'm not gonna take all the time to do at this particular moment. And from here, you're going to go, I'm gonna move my chest piece to here just to make it easier. So take your short tail and you can move it to the front underneath your legs, just to make it a little easier to work with now. And I'm going to take my 
pass going across my chest. You can see where that short tail is making that pass. And I'm gonna take my long tail and tuck it in and through. So long tail in and through. So once I tighten this out, I have that chest belt and two of my rails, which are now going to be right about the same length. And if you have a short wrap, you can just tie underneath the baby's bottom. If you have a longer wrap, you're going to crisscross over under baby's legs, and then you can just tie off in the front. So once you're done with that, you can strand by strand, sort of work out any of your slack. You can spread some of these rails out a little bit more and just make it a little bit more comfortable, but that would be the basics of how the passes go. So I'm gonna do it with an actual for real kid and um, see if that helps you. I'm gonna get it off first. So once again, I'm going to find that middle marker, and once I find the middle marker, I'm going to put it up on my chest, and I'm going to go about an arm's length or so out, because there's a come here. And my four-year-old is the closest, so I'm going to grab her to use as my demo. I'm going to take that new sort of um, middle that I found, I'm going to put it up on the middle of her back. And I am going to Superman her up and onto my back. So once I have her up and onto my back, I'm going to take the short tail and drop it under my arm. And the long tail, I'm going to keep gathered up over. And I'm just going to pin both of these for now. I'm going to my top row to hold them so I can I'm going to go ahead and make sure seat real fast. Alright, so remember, as we said, once I have the pass, I've got the long tail going over my shoulder. I'm gonna do a little bit of strand by strand tightening here just to make sure everything stays nice and snug. And I'm going to take my chest pass, so my short tail, I'm gonna bring it across my chest, make sort of an anchor point low, almost close to my armpit on the opposite side, and take that chest pass, and I'm just gonna tuck it from behind to sort of hold it in place for now, just to kind of keep it out of the way. So, now I'm going to do the long tail, work out some of that slack, push it up and over my shoulder. And once I have it up and over my shoulder, I'm going to then make my second rebozo pass across the baby, or giant four-year-old as it happens. So, I'm going to then drop it under my shoulder, and you can see how her second rebozo didn't go completely under her seat, so I'm going to work on that real quick. And just reach around and do a little bit of a tuck under. And from there, you're going to want to just make sure you work out any of the slack. So, I feel like I have a little bit in the top. So you can see how I am taking my rails, finding my pink rail, which is my top rail, where I have some slack. <coughs> Pulling one, and don't strangle your baby, and then pulling that top piece and pulling it on the other side as well. So let me work on the yellow. All right, so from here I'm gonna go ahead and move my short tail to the front underneath my legs to hold it in place. I'm gonna double check my work and make sure that everything is nice and snug and secure. And then I'm going to take my long tail, second rebozo pass, and I'm going to pull it through this sort of chest loop that has been created now. And sort of pull and tighten everything up. So from here, 
I've got two passes or two shoulder to shoulder passes going underneath and you can just do a little bit more tightening strand by strand and some people really like to try to spread these passes out a little bit more and make them a little bit more comfortable and I'm going to take one tail pass it under or over first sorry over then underneath the second leg and I'm going to put it between my legs to hold it secure just some more strain by strain tightening on the other side and then I'm going to do the same thing I'm going to pass it over this front leg and make sure that you're feeling around on the seat that you're securing the seat with those rails as you go around and then underneath the second leg and from there I'm just going to tie the tails into a double knot big kid, it's a little harder. <laughs> and there you would have a double reverso, shoulder to shoulder. And you can spread if you want to spread out a little bit more or whatever you sort of want to do to make it the most comfortable for you. And there you would have double reverso, shoulder to shoulder with a big giant four-year-old. <laughs>